Hey guys, welcome to another video of Love Adventures. Today we are unboxing my brand new intense sniper T expert. Um, this is the 2022 model. Um, brand new. Oh, this is the um blue color. So inside you have this right here. You're gonna go ahead. You're gonna pull this out. This will come with um, just your kit. It'll have like water bottle mounts, tubeless stuff. Go ahead and that side. Okay. So next step is you have to pull the bike out of the box. Then we have to start taking the wrapping off. So I'm gonna back the box up a little bit. So I can pull it out. Okay, now you're going to go ahead and lay it down. Okay, now you're going to take off the tires and cut off all the foam stuff apart from the bike. For the tires, it is, the tires are already on. Aggressors, um, Maxis aggressors. Look here. I should, I should do that later. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the tires. So that's gonna be this big one right here. And you're just gonna go ahead and pull it out a little bit. Just cut that one. Oh. Cut this off. And then there's one more down here. That'll free the front tire. Or no, this is the rear tire. Go ahead and go ahead and put that side. The other one, the last one's right here. You go ahead and you're gonna cut this thing off. Go ahead and you're gonna cut this off. And all for your front tire. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and just start taking off all the plastic. So that has come off. This has come off. Ooh, this is a nice bike. That's come off. This stuff right here has come off. Oh, and this bike is running 120 um, millimeters front and rear for travel with a Fox 34 in the front. Second, pull this one off. Okay, so I'm getting to the point now where I'm gonna have to put the dropper up and get it onto the bike stands. I'll take the things off later. And then there's a couple more holding the chain on. I'll do those later too. So now I'm gonna go ahead and step over. Now you're gonna to wanna to find your dropper. 
lever. So you can just go ahead and take this box off. off and stuff. So next I'm going to grab the other thing. Okay, so we found the intense kit. So inside the intense kit, we'll have all the stuff to um, build the bike. It's here. Okay, so I went ahead and took out the package. So this is my very own intense kit. It's here. What the heck? Okay. Uh, it's a little disorganized and stuff. I'll fix this later. But, let's see your sealant. What the heck? Hold up, give me one second, guys. Oh, some of the stuff in here is a little bit different than the XC stuff. Just a little bit, though. Okay. i get that in. Okay, so we are, you're going to need this tool. I'm going to start up, up here in the um, cockpit. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this around, get the bars on, and I'll adjust everything to how I like it here later in the video. So I'm gonna start off by taking this off, pull that off, pull those off. I'll leave the bar straps on for now. So the intense you're gonna want on the outside. Oh, actually, I'm gonna fix this first. So this is a way to strain it. But, um, I don't want to do that right now. I'll do that here in a little bit. See, can I just turn it now? Let's see take. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this around. So I'm going to line it up the best I can. Eyesight view. Go ahead and line it later. Just gonna snug it, don't use it tight at all. Just do to you have to move the stuff around later. Okay, you're gonna hook it like that. And then you're gonna uh, it for a little bit. You're gonna take this off. Okay, after a little scissor hunt, I found the scissors. You're gonna go ahead and be very careful. Cut that off. Throw that in there. Scissors back down. Okay. So now for the bars, you have to have them on this way. Oh, I gotta take this off first. This arm, um, not headset, stem. This one's much thicker than the um, XC. It's extremely thick compared to. You can go see it, Kenz. That's funny. Here, come look. You can look. A speed bike, right? You can go around the other other. I was going to take off the headset. Or the um, bar thing. Okay, so what do you think, Kenz? I don't like it. I 
Just make sure that the bolts don't fall, because inside the bolts are a bunch of them. Inside the bolts are washers, and you don't want to use those washers. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and drop this one real quick. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab the bars. The bars will go on like this. The bars will go on like that. Right there. What the heck? Okay, so with, with a little bit of my dad's help, like some turning, we got the um, the bars in. So for now, I'm just kind of going to line this up right here. Just going to try to center it as much as I can. Just going to go ahead and tie it on. Because I'll just torque it all down at the end when it's all set up for me. Okay, now those two are tight, now the tight two side ones. Okay, so now that that's on, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to move to the front tire, and then we'll move to the cranks, and then to the derailleur. So the front tire is right here. Okay, we look good. Sometimes these caps right here will pop out. Oh, I get that out. Hold up. I don't know what that was. But sometimes these little caps right here will pop out. And so you want to go ahead and get those out. Oh, another thing, I'll take those off. Okay, let's see. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to start just taking these off. This is a safety for the front brake. Oh, forgot about this cap. So we look good. Once again, the other piece did not fall. I oh, messed the pickup after putting the bike together. Go ahead, you're just going to carefully align it. Oop, got that for right. You got to go from this side in an angle. So you're going to see the angle is. Okay, so this angle is here. I'll show you guys. Down here at the bottom, there's like a little lip, open lip on both sides. And so for this one, it's a little bit different than my parents' bikes. You just gotta drive up. Oh, okay, let's see. Gotta be a look. Like that. Go ahead. I'm just gonna use my knee. Oh. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make this tire um, tubeless. So I already took it off the two caps. Oh, this is a fancy one right there. And so now I have some muck off. 
um, tire levers. They are a little thicker than the race ones. You go ahead. Actually. Oh, there is air in it. So it's a little surprising. Oh, and um, Tense is not a sponsor of my um, channel. We pay for this bike. Don't want to mess up the rim tape because these rim cone tape, sorry. Go ahead and go like that. There's another one. Go ahead and put that one up. We got one more set over here. Give it down one more time. Okay, now that all those fell out, that goes ahead and open this up. And these are some nice rims. The red matches the red on the bike, which I think is really cool. Okay, go ahead. Oh, and that kit that you get comes with um, tire sealant, so you don't have to buy any, unless you want to use a certain arm seal that you would use in your other bikes. So we are going to use muck off tubeless valves. These are blue ones to match the blue on the bike. Okay, so change of plans. We are going to use the muck off. Um, the bike came supplied with these really nice E13 ones. And the nice thing about these ones is you can go ahead and take this off right here. And this is how you can get sealant in. Just a little bit of a different way. So now to figure out how to, oh, we're gonna take off the yellow thing. So now I need to figure out how to get them onto the rim. Yeah, it shouldn't be too challenging. Oh, that, that wasn't bad at all. You just have to undo this. So I might end up getting like a flathead or something right here. Totally it tight, well I tightened it in. Okay. Okay, let's see, we're just holding it right here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna push this back for now. You can push this part up right there. Go ahead, and push this up. Keep, keep yeah, just hold that. I'm gonna pull this tire back as much as you can, and then this piece right here, you're just gonna go ahead and you're just gonna spin it in. Okay, let's see here. I need to find. Okay, so now you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna put your thumb in it, and you're just gonna turn it as much as you can. Okay, that should be it right there. I'm gonna go ahead and have my dad check real quick. Oh. Okay, so now that we did that, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna um, put the tire back on to the rim, filled up with sealant. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and snap this all around. Here, we have a really thin pump that'll um, end up doing a burst of air pressure, um, a really fast burst of air pressure into the tire that'll set the bead. So I'm gonna go ahead and have my, I'll just I'll grab it. Open it, open up your cap. Don't lose it. Okay, that's already open. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so this pump allows you to send burst of air pressure by locking this, and then your pump will send the air pressure the second you open it. So this will help set the bead. So I'm gonna go ahead 
attach that, lock it, and it comes in about either 180 to 200. Okay, we're at about 180 right now. So you're gonna go ahead and, and then you're gonna go ahead and you're just gonna keep pumping to try to set the bead. You're gonna put about 30 into it for now and then we'll take it all out. But you still hear it pumping due to the bead trying to set onto the rim. That should be good right there. Go ahead. There is other ways to do a tire. This is the way that we prefer. These are Max's aggressors. Um, these are 2.4s. I don't know. Oh, that 2.3s? That must be, I don't know. Yeah, this is a 2.3. I think the one over there must be a 2.4. Jeez, calm down, bro. You're crazy. Okay, so these are E13 rims, and we're using, we're using uh, E13 tire plasma for the sealant. So I'm gonna go ahead, open this up. So you're gonna just use something to stab it. Mm -hmm. This will work, this star will work. Okay, I gotta shake it first. Yeah, that should be good. Uh, and then this is what you do, you don't wanna get any of your tools dirty. So just go ahead and give it a little poke. Just enough to um, break the seal. I'll put that away here in a second. And then we just push this back there. And we call that good. Okay, the nice thing about this one compared to the E13 is this has a much bigger um, entrance for the for me to um, get the sealant into. I'm just gonna go ahead and go like that. Great, we're gonna be putting 100 milliliters of tire sealant into here. Bubbles a little bit. Yeah, that seems like all of it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put the tire. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit, make sure, make sure um, when I go ahead and pump it up that no air gets blocked off due to sealant. Just gonna clean up in there a little bit. Let it go down a little bit. Okay, that should be good. Now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna re enter this. That should be good. Should I might just try that one more time. That should be good. Now I'm gonna go back here, grab pump. Now since we've already set the bead, I will not need a burst of air. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pump it up to, I'm just gonna run 18 in the front, we'll do 18, 20. I wish I got it a little bit before this race. Should have started saving earlier because this bike would have been nice. But I still love racing my mom's bike. That's a fun bike to race too. Okay, let's put this on. Okay, now that that's on, go ahead and we're gonna put the front tire onto the bike. Jeez, move. So this is gonna go down. Gonna go ahead and go all the way down. We're gonna find it until it. Just gonna find the right spot for it. And then 
Maybe we would spin this. It's much nicer having a quick, quick release. How does I think it is? Okay, should we get it right there? Okay, right, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the ground so I finish it all, and that should help stop the rubbing. So see how the brakes work? Not too bad, actually. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna um, work on the rear wheel and changing that to tubeless. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna finish up the bike. We aren't even talking, we'll do that by myself later. Um, so what we need to finish up is we need to get the rest of the plastic and stuff off and rear chain and derailleur and top of the wheel. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with just a simple plastic. This, my bike is running SRAM um, bike parts. Okay, let's see, we have something in this little thing right here. Couldn't quite tell what it was. Okay, so these things right here are for the crank. You, you can see this like little indent right here. It'll separate your pedal from the crank. And I do have on. Um, I'm gonna run, be running time clipless pedals. So now I need scissors again to get this off right here. That's heavy. I'm gonna go ahead and get this off right here. This one, I feel it. Get that one off. Put that off. Those two move. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take out the derailleur. This is a Ram NX derailleur. And then, okay, jeans, move. This is, how, this is where you move. So, this is what you need to do for this one. Is, oh, there are four more zip off. Jeans, move. Get that one off. Okay, so this, you're gonna, here. on this side, there's this piece right here. In this piece, you wanna get it up and over. Here you go. That's here. So this piece right here, you wanna get it over this lip right here. And so you're just gonna go ahead, and try to go like that. Did I get the right size? Yep. Go ahead and get up and over the lip. if I can do it. Okay, so it took a couple tries and my dad ended up getting it. So you, we're gonna go screw it in. Okay, yeah, that's good. Okay, so we've already ended up on um, putting on the, or turning the sealant, or tubeless. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this off. Okay. 
That one's gonna be tight. Hard to get off. Hey, you. Try to pull this out. One thing you can do, tilt, is you can go ahead and put this through, and there's an end cap on the side, and you can just, it'll pop right out. You said make sure that the that this didn't fall out. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Pull out the safety tab. Have to go ahead and pull this up. Backwards a little bit. Pull up. There you go. Good. Go oh, pull up. Still not harps in. It. You, know, you, can, you can end up pulling this thing out right here. And spin this thing on. I'm really curious to see how this um, hub's gonna sound. Cause, ooh, this tire's almost flat. There, let's see how it sounds. Sounds pretty good, actually. Okay, we'll fix, like I said, we'll fix this once we get it down. So I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna go, um, the bike's basically complete. We're gonna have to throw some clipless pedals on. But before we do that, I have a night rider mount. So you're gonna throw this on real quick. Night rider mount, you unscrew it. Turn this, pull this forward. Put it to where you want. Ooh, I have to unscrew this thing a lot more. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and make sure this is um, facing forward. Okay, go ahead and turn that like that. As I'll, we'll adjust every, I'll have to adjust everything later. For now, let's work. Pull off these. Oh, these are actually um, intense branded um, grips too. Okay, I'll tie that down more later. But it's not, ooh, this is really loose up there. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my pedals on. And then I'm gonna take it down and we're gonna align everything. This little ring is gonna go right into here. So you're gonna go ahead and pull some off of me. And then you're gonna go ahead in this, actually, it's gonna be a little bit easier. I drop it on here. I'm gonna hand tighten it first. And we'll tighten that one down later. Got the same thing on the other side. Then you do the same thing. Put this on. Jeez, move! Ow. Now those, those, those are through. So I'm gonna go find my three way. Maybe. Two. 
three way out right here. Go ahead, tighten this one on first. So go ahead, give it a nice good little tug. Make sure it won't come off. Same thing the other side. Give it one more other tug. Okay, that's good. Hope you guys enjoyed this video of me building my sniper key. And so please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.